hello guys how are you okay so in this video I'm going to show you some basics of uh, Python this video is uh, especially for uh, absolute beginners okay so let me tell you first uh, you have to download Python from Python uh, python.org official website here you can see download options right and for ID I'm using PyCharm okay so this is PyCharm okay now let me show you what I'm going to uh, introduce in this video so we will uh, discuss about variables and data types okay and uh, comments mm, and uh, booleans and if else conditions okay this will be enough for this video and we will continue in next video with further concepts okay guys and one more thing syntax okay so let's discuss with uh, variables first in python we don't need to uh, define data type or variable type like uh, in other languages in java we use int or a string then variable name then value but in python we simply uh, create variable and value like abc this is my string variable okay and uh, to print it out we will use print function okay I, I did not uh, print hello world I don't know if society will accept me or not but let's uh, get to the point so abc python my file name is my first app dot file okay you can see it printed out this is my string variable this is our single line string variable now let me tell you how can we create a multi line string variable xyz we can use either three double quote or three single quote for multi lines string variables this this is my multi line string variable okay let me divide it to multi line okay let's print it out oh print xyz okay you can see here this is our multi line a string variable which is printed out here okay our next data type variable type is uh, integer value num 1234 this is an integer value and for floating data type num2 12.34 this is floating okay this is integer and this is floating now print them out num print num2 okay here here you can see 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 point 3 4 right we can also do the mathematic function num plus num2 let's print it out okay guys you can see this is addition of two variables integer variables okay so 
also for sequence data types we have list and tuple so let me show you how can we create list my list mm, apple banana mango okay this is our list and for tuple my tuple we will use simple braces mm, gen fab march okay guys here we can print it my list and print my tuple okay one more thing i forgot to tell you about uh, semicolon we don't need any semicolon in python like in other languages we use semicolon, uh, semicolon to break code line but here we don't need the semicolon and we don't need to use braces for code block to define code block we will use indentions okay like uh, line 1 right it can be a function line or condition line for example I create a condition if num is greater than num2 we uh, you can see uh, the, it gave me a indention automatically we can't write here else we can't write here let me show you this will give us an error you can see indention error for code block for code block we have to give a index indention one single uh, single character indention will be good enough but usually we use four four characters indentions now it will work okay where it uh, went okay here it printed out okay right so I will tell you about a false function or letter in this video but we can have an idea here what was the next thing let me see okay we created variables I told you about data types mm, for comments okay so for single call single line comments we simply use hash and this is our single line and we use our three single quotes for multi line comments okay and uh, okay uh, we discussed syntax already uh, like indentions and uh, semicolon we don't need semicolon in python and we don't need uh, braces for code block for code block we need indentions okay now comments is discussed boolean and if else okay so here I already told you about if else but let's do this again num2 print num1 is greater than num2 else print num2 is greater okay one more thing 
I forgot about that uh, if you want to check any uh, variable data type you can simply use type function and it will show you the class of that data type variable okay You can see it printed out num1 is greater than num2. This is our boolean conditioning, right? Okay. Okay, I think this is enough for this video. Next video, I will uh, give you more detail about list tuple and uh, loops like while loop and for loop and uh, functions and lambda function okay see you in next video please don't forget to like and share my video and subscribe to my channel and please uh, press bell icon so you will not miss my next video see you in next video thank you goodbye